Shalom, Shalom. I just want to do a uh, quick lesson really quick. A quick lesson really quick. I want to do a lesson um, going into the times we're in. I, I, every day, things are speeding up, okay? We don't have time, Israel, to not listen. The prophets, the men of the Lord have been telling you to get ready, get right. And now we're here, okay? They're about to collapse the dollar. All the nations are starting to move away from the dollar and use their own currency. So what's gonna happen is the dollar, which is basically the world's reserve currency, meaning that everyone trades, when they have goods and they're trading and they're buying certain things, they usually buy or trade with American dollars because it holds the most value. Well, that's not, that value is now coming down, okay? So that dollar doesn't have that uh, that weight that it doesn't hold that 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 weight that it used to, okay. So all of you, you know, in our nation, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans who basically thought that, you know, this was uh, this is a joke, this isn't serious. Um, there's no way that America will ever fall. It's America. There's no way that the world would ever uh, be judged, okay? Hey. Everything, like I said, everything the men of the Lord have been prophesying is, is coming true. You know what I'm saying? So, let me, actually, let's just get into it. This is Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 39. It says, see now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out my hand. So the world is about to be judged. And guess what? There's, not a go there's nothing going to uh, protect America. There's nothing that's going to protect Russia, China, all the heathen nations from their judgment. They think that they're about to formulate this new world order where everyone's under um, one rulership, one governing body that's of the, uh, the world's government. They're going to get very close to that. But the Lord... Is that he's going to be in the midst of all of that because World War III will be happening, okay? And he's going to judge all these nations. So they're still going on the timeline of the Most High. I just read it. He's doing all this. He kills. He uh, uh, he, he uh, brings up, okay? He wounds. He heals. He stirs up the minds of the people, the minds of your generals, the minds of your presidents. He does that, okay? He's the reason why there's a, 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 a quote-unquote, a whiff of... of uh, of war in the air of this quote unquote new world new world order the most high god is doing all of that so you so-called black latinos and native americans who thought that this was a joke i mean time, time's up time, time is up and actually this is isaiah chapter 13 verse 6 i'll start at verse 6 it says how ye, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and it shall come as a destruction from, from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands shall be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. So a lot of people's hearts are going to be melting, meaning they're going to be passing out. They're going to be dying. Because you're going to see literally, quote unquote, UFOs, which are chariots in the Bible. But you're going to see that. Then you're going to see a whole new world that people just don't expect. They don't expect America to not have guidance in the way of, just total chaos, not having a, a structure, not going to, they don't know how to go to a, you know, a grocery store and not see food on the shelves. They don't know how uh, it feels to, to have to penny pinch. And literally when I say penny pinch, like everything counts, you count every penny. Okay. They don't know how to have to go outside and, and, and worry about their life. They don't know how that feels. You're now entering that day. They don't know how it feels to, you know, <laughs> wake up and your news, the news anchors, they're in panic and chaos. Like, they don't know what to do. They don't know how it feels to have your presidents, you know, they're in panic and chaos. And they, they basically, uh, you know, go into their underground bunkers or whatever, and they leave you to fend for yourself. What are you going to do then? Well, when you were given grace, you were supposed to build your faith. You were supposed to build your faith in the Most High God.
It says, and they shall be afraid. Pangs and sorrows shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travaileth. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flames. These people are gonna, they're gonna be holding themselves, looking at each other like, what do we do? Where do we go? Why? Because you didn't, you thought that this was a playground. Just because a government says that you can do what you want, do what thou wilt, you know, who cares? There's only one life. Just because they promote that, you still had the, uh, the spiritual understanding of, hold up, something don't feel right. And you can't say you don't because we got God. The most high God is our God. He gives you that discernment. But what happens is when you, like I said, when you live in a world that enables you to do what you want, and continue to continuous, continuously tells you to, that it's okay to do that, you start then to ignore your spirit. That's why the Lord says in Galatians that the spirit is always worn with the flesh. Always. Your spirit is willing. It's your, it's your flesh that's weak. So you knowing that, want, this is who you have to... Uh, uh, you have to you have to use the, the 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 tools the the keys that the Most High God gave us to get away from the flesh, okay? Because like I said, what are you gonna do when 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 the curtain is is, is completely pulled out from under or uh, the, the the rug is pulled out from under you? What are you gonna do? Who are you gonna run to when your governments don't even know what to do? Your local police officers they're 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 worried about their lives. They're worried about their family now. What are you gonna do? Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, both with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners thereof out of it. For the stars of heaven and constellations thereof shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in his going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will punish the world for their evil, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogancy of the proud to cease and will lay low the haughtiness of the terrible. You're, you're entering those times where all that pride is done. Now, you know what? And I'm about to read it because that I believe it's the next scripture. But you're entering the time to where the first shall be last and the last shall be first. So you're going to start seeing a lot of so-called black Latinos and Native Americans have their have a little bit more pep in their step. Walk with their heads up a little higher. Start smiling a little bit more, being more friendly. You know why? Because they built the relationship. They built their relationship up with God. That's why. They knew that these times were going to come because the Lord was telling them. They listened. So they were preparing themselves. When everyone looked at us, it's like, man, you crazy. And what are you doing? You are preparing yourself. Now you know what's going on. Now the Most High God is connected with you because you listen. It says, and I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. So you men who've been literally, uh, uh, you, you put your life down for the Most High God. When he called you, you took that up and you said, I'm going with you, Father. Now you're about to, <laughs> your wealth, your, excuse me, Salakia. Well, your wealth, but your worth is going to be more than gold. You're going to be like gold. You ever seen that episode of uh, Fresh Prince where um, I, uh, Ashley, she was she wanted to be a singer and Will Smith, he, he saw her. And when she walked, she started singing. He turned around and all he saw was dollar signs. That's how the world's about to look at y'all. Everything's going to have to flow through the men of the Lord. Everything. And I say every I'm talking about all the uh, the quote unquote. Queen Elizabeth, uh, all your presidents, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, Vladimir Putin, all of them. They will all, if they want any type, and this is if the most high grants them, if they want any type of salvation or any type of mercy, they're going to have to bow down to a so-called black, Latino, and Native American man. Mark my words. The scriptures say this. Everything will be translated back to these men of the Lord. Salaki for spitting. But... Everything will be transferred back to these brothers, man. Everything. Let's 
go to Ezekiel chapter 18. Verse 29, it says, Yet saith the house of Israel, the way of the Lord is not equal. O house of Israel, are not my ways equal? Are not your ways unequal? Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, saith the Lord Yahweh. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. This is why we preach the gospel of the Most High God. The gospel to come back to him, to follow his laws, to treat your brothers with respect, to love one another. Because you're going to be judged off of what, or of the spirit that you were in. If you hate it, the Lord hates you. If you show envy, the Lord is going to envy you. If you show jealousy, he's going to give that all back to you. I'll read it again. Ezekiel 18 and 30. Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel, everyone according to his ways. According to your way, your ways, you're going to be judged. Your ways, however you are, your heart. You wanted to get over on people. You wanted to manipulate people. You wanted to... Um, render evil for evil you wanted to murder you wanted to you know uh cause chaos you wanted to have you know hatred envy jealousy you wanted to commit adultery you're going to be judged off that man and if and if you disagree well please show me where your god says otherwise because ain't no god on this planet telling a uh, 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 lincoln what's going on in the world with with with, the, with uh, uh scripture what, what, what Buddha ain't saying nothing. Whatever Islam, they're not saying nothing. What? You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans, this is your book. This was your this was your guide out of here. This is your guide to salvation. And now the time is about to come to where we're all about to be judged off of how we were according to our ways. It says, repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions. So iniquity shall not be your ruin. Your ruin is iniquity. It's sin. When you're in sin, you're dead. That's why the most high God, the, the, the gospel gives us life. It gives us comfort because it gives us a bridge back to the creator. Yahweh Shai being that middleman. You act like Yahweh Shai, you, you follow Yahweh Shai's ways, then you're pleasing the Most High God from our ruin. You're pleasing Him. You, you, you're, you're moving away from your transgressions. That's why, that's why we all, I, I say it all the time. We always say it. Practice. He just wants practice. The Most High God just wants practice. You fall, just get back up. That's what this was about. Verse 31, it says, cast away from your from you all your transgressions, whereby ye have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit. For why will you die, O house of Israel? So the most high God, he doesn't want you to die. He didn't want you guys to die. Baruch uh, uh, 4. He didn't want you to die. He didn't put you in captivity to die, to, to uh, tell you that he hates you. He wanted you. He was trying to stir you up. He wanted you to say, I'm tired of going through. Uh, uh, I'm tired of all these transgressions. I'm tired of being whooped. I'm tired of getting my butt whooped. What does my dad want me to do? What does the father want me to do? That's what this grace period was about. Anything else I got? Salakia.
this is Romans chapter 2. I started verse 1. It says, Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art the, that judges. So it's you're inexcusable. So if you're judging, you have no excuses. You wanted to judge someone, the Lord is going to judge you. This is why we preach that if the Lord gave you mercy, give that back to the people. If the Lord showed you love, give that back to the people. If the Lord was uh, 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 merciful with you and, and showed temperance for you, he wanted you to give that back to his people. So I'll read it again. Romans 2 and 1. Therefore, thou art inexcusable, O man, whosoever thou art that judges. For wherein thou judgest another, thou condemnest thyself. For thou that judgest doest the same things. How can I judge you? And I'm in a, incorrupt, I'm, I'm in a corruptible body. How can I judge you when I was I was dead in my sins? How can I judge you in a world that Satan is running? In a world that promotes iniquity, in a world that pr promotes wickedness. What I should be doing is showing you grace. What I should be doing you what I should be doing is showing you uh love. Okay? During these times of long suffering, that's what he wanted us to do. Build the temple, build the, the, the kingdom. Get ready for the kingdom. Practice the righteous acts. Verse 2, it says, But we are sure that the judgment of God is according to truth against them which commit such things. And thinkest thou this, O man, that judgest them which do such things, and doest the same, that thou shalt escape the judgment of God? So you sitting up here judging the Most High God's people but you're doing the same thing. So you don't think that God's going to judge you now? I, I, I brought it out before. When Yahweh Shai was in, uh, I can't remember where he was, but it was the, uh, there were some people in the town, Yahweh Shai was preaching, and some, uh, I believe it was a Pharisee and the scribes, and they brought this woman who was an adulteress, adulterer. And the Pharisees were like, you know, you need to kill this woman. You know, she's been sleeping with uh, multiple men, whatever, whatever, whatever. Yahweh I said, okay, so whoever whoever is without sin, cast the first stone. Go ahead, kill her. Whoever is without sin. That woman was still alive when Yahweh I looked back up. Because everyone was sinners. So he was trying to tell him, you're trying to judge her when you're a sinner yourself. How about you show mercy? How about you tell her not to do the things she, uh, she doing? How about you guys just not promote that? How about you tell her, show her a little bit of temperance and, and, and you know, uh, build her up. Show her ways to, you know, to, to get that spirit out of there, man. Because I can't, I can't judge you. I, I've sinned. You can't judge me. You've sinned. So all we can do, all we should be doing is just trying to love each other, man. Because we're not even supposed to be here. I'm supposed to be dead. You're supposed to be dead. We've all sinned. So all we should be doing is trying to just wipe each other off. It's going to be okay. That's what the Most High God wanted. That's why he showed us mercy. That's why he gave us this gospel. Not to start classifying each other and, and, and I'm better than you and you're better than me. You know, you've been in the truth longer, so you did. It was never about that. It was about giving each other this mercy. Showing each other mercy. Loving one another. If you love one another, then the most high, you, you definitely have the most high. God is love. Our power is love. Okay? So that's all, like I said, it, that's all I wanted to uh, discuss with you guys. Just, it was on my mind. Call Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakah Kadash. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai. Rakatha Yahweh, Rakatha Yahweh Shai. Wa Abal Babal. This is your brother Malachi signing off. Shalom, Yashrallah.